Johnny's the one who picked our 20 under 20. He's only 19. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, lucky to be honored when I was 16 um, for the list. And uh, I also have toys. Um, so, uh, I'm Johnny Cohen. I'm 19 and I'm a sophomore at Columbia University studying mechanical engineering. And I invented Green Shields. And uh, Green Shields is a aerodynamic device for school buses. And I came up with this device uh, when I was in seventh grade because uh, I took this class at Northwestern where we built these little Pinewood Derby cars. And I became excited about aerodynamics. I just thought it was so cool that you could just change something's shape and then affect uh, its efficiency or you know even make it fly. And um, I came up with this idea, you know, went home and talked to my sister's physics teacher who said it was a pretty good idea and maybe I should go forward with it. So I did. And uh, you know, uh, we got some grants and I partnered with Northwestern Siegel Design Institute where I was able to uh, develop the actual shield and um, we did you know lots of wind tunnel testing and computational fluid dynamics where it's like virtual wind tunnel testing and then onto real testing and I think the main uh, you know misconception about school buses and a lot of things in general are people you know I heard this uh, said earlier but a lot of things are perceived to be the way they are because of the way they are and people assume that you know they're the best that they could be but you know Nothing is perfect and absolutely everything can be improved because as with school buses, uh, you know, they're perceived to go at slow speeds, which, you know, was true. And the design hasn't changed for 50 years, but today, school buses are now owned by school bus service providers where they're not traveling at, you know, 25 miles per hour and they travel, you know, long distances on the highway just to get to their routes. So there really is a need for uh, a green shield and a more aerodynamic school bus, but you know, with schools that are underfunded and can't exactly uh, afford you know new school buses, they're able to get a green shield, which uh, you know saves ten percent of their fuel and is you know which can save them you know over six hundred dollars uh, a year, which is very valuable to schools uh, and also you know the environmental impact. So I some facts about some school buses is that they get four to six miles per gallon and uh, there are 480,000 school buses across the U.S. and um, so they are basically spending over three billion dollars on fuel and so if we could you know save 10% of that that's over uh, 300 million dollars and uh, I like to think of things in uh, a multiple of elephants and uh, <laughs> They're giving off emissions of two million elephants, and so uh, with that nine million tons or so of carbon dioxide, and this can all be you know reduced uh, by you know the simple green shield, which is basically that green thing on here, and um, it reduces the fluid separation at the top of the school bus. Um, I consider it. Uh, you know, making a school bus a little bit more like a space shuttle, and just very simply, it uh, you know redirects the airflow and uh, you know makes school buses uh, more aerodynamic. And recently, we started our pilot in April in Florida, and I'm very happy to say that we got approval um, from the Illinois Department of Transportation to expand to Illinois, and today we shipped uh, several.